And I, that's what I want to do before I would go out on the trail. Thank you. Um, is make sure I have that that she knows without thinking about it to bring her head. Good girl. And that also that if I ask her to back up, I don't want to hold harder than this to ask her to back up. So I'll ask her here and release when she gets off of it. So back. And a lot of times I'll have a little bat up here at the butt end of it and say back and give her a tap here and once she backs off of it, release. Because I can't have her hanging on the bridle. Back. Release. Girl. Back. Release. Good girl. Uh, 
to drop her head a little bit. Good. And ooh, squeeze, release. Good girl. Walk up. Good girl. Ask her for a leg heel there. Good. Good girl. Now ask her to hold at this cone. And Walk up. And I'll have her back when I stop at the next cone. Connected with them and how much leg pressure to use and everything. So, like I said, the pair will look much better than we did. really should correct her for walking off. You don't have to be afraid to correct them with that. You can make corrections, give them a little snap of their face, and then back up. Once you make your corrections and you put the bit back in when you have to show, the horse knows stand to be mounted, and you don't have to correct them with a half halt on the bit, which hurts. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? I'd love to answer any of your questions. So I guess you just do some of the same things that you did while at your cone. Trot up, exhale, the horse stops his feet. 